In the heart of South Africa's Eastern Cape, a remarkable transformation is underway. Brought to life by the engineering brilliance of the R61 project, this is a story of how innovation, empowerment, and community collaboration are changing lives. The R61 project stands as a testament to engineering excellence. This project has not only connected communities, but has also become a beacon of hope for the future. At the heart of this transformation is Sandwell's commitment to his transformation pillar. Through this, we have empowered local women and youth-led SMMEs, creating opportunities that have changed the lives of many. Let's meet these inspiring men and women entrepreneurs who have seized this opportunity. They are the backbone of this project, proving that the construction industry knows no gender boundaries. Uh, this project is the upgrade of the R61 between Ambazia to Amtata, which is approximately 18 kilometers. The R61 is an important link road to Amtata. It links the N1 uh, from the west to Johannesburg and uh, Cape Town. And on the east, it links up with uh, KZN, uh, which is an important link road on the N2. Uh, apart from that, it's also an important link road, a strategic link to the new Wild Coastal Road as well. Uh, this road brings a lot of benefit to the community of Amtata. It's an important industrial hub where the the OR Tambo municipality is actually looking at uh, developing an industrial zone in this area here. So this will become an important industrial hub for, for OR Tambo. The intent was to upgrade the road from a class three to a class two standard uh, to improve the, ge the geometry of the road, make it safer. Part of that is to widen the road and also to create auxiliary lanes so people can pass safely. There's also a, num a lot of intersections along the route which were not safe, so we had to make them safer by creating dedicated turning lanes. And then uh, a few of the bridges were overtopping in floods, so we had to upgrade them so they don't overtop. And then there were a number of points where cattle crossed the road, so we, we, we needed to um, construct agricultural underpasses. By installing them, it actually lifted the road alignment as well and took out a couple of dangerous um, places along the route. So I think that generally that we've, we've upgraded it that you can travel at 100 kilometers an hour safely at the moment. This contract was awarded to us in, in June 2021, where our mobilization period began. And we, this, is, this contract was a, an existing contract that was not completed by a previous contractor. And we've then taken it over on a separate tender. Well, while we were mobilizing, we identified certain aspects of the project that could be subcontracted out to the SMME, local SMMEs. Our contract requires a 30% um, spend with SMME contractors. We've managed to spend 38% of our contract value. Um, we've also employed a lot of labour. We're supposed to employ 8%. We've come in the region of about 16% value on, on, on labour uh, injected. So that's money directly into the local economy uh, as a percentage. The contract value will turn at about 270 million approximately. It's not completed yet and there's certain things that need to be done. Currently doing curbing and a lot of concrete. So I was fortunate enough to be able to, during my curbing, I was able to, to also be exposed to other um, concrete uh, jobs, uh, like doing bus bays and whatnot. So basically they, they gave me a lot of skills. I'm able to do like concrete too. I'm really good at that. I'm excelling exceptionally well. I'm doing exceptionally well in that. I know that when I leave here, I'll be a grade three or grade four subcontract, like main contractor most probably. I'll be getting grades. My grade will be up. And two, I was able to buy myself a buggy from this current job. So a lot, a lot shifted in my life. So I could see, um, I'll hopefully, they will give me another job so that <laughs> I'm able to get myself planned. I am an owner of a company which I've gained from being employed under H&I, which I didn't have money to do it before. So now I am a jam supplier's woman. I'm, I've grown, I've grown. 
So I applied by HNI with my company, then HNI accepted me. So now I'll be earning money. What I enjoy mo the most about working in the construction industry is the pressure and also the drive, the stress. It drives me, it wants me to, to prove myself. Actually, the mere fact that people tend to, to think that just because I'm a woman, I'm, not, I'm unable to do it. So it, that, 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 that is the one thing that, that drives me to say that I'm not gonna fail at this. I want to show them actually women are able to do this. So pressure and the stress about it, that's, that's the number one thing I love. Our task is to, to check all the work that the contractor is doing. They do their earthworks in their layer works in, in layers of 150, 200 and so on. And we have a Troxel machine that does the compaction testing. We have the laboratory, they do grading analysis for the different borrow pits and commercial sources material. Then we also have an environmentalist control officer, ECHO, and a health and safety officer. And uh, so our task is really to do all the checks. Uh, the contractor asks us for, for certain tests uh, a week ahead and then we do the testing and we provide the results and we have a SMT, a senior materials technician and he provides a materials report every month. So that once the job is complete then we can report back that the quality is in order. In terms of uh, uh, the improvement once we finish off over here, the RRM routine road maintenance will take over, we will, we will actually employ additional SMMEs on this contract to actually maintain or do the maintenance on the road, for example, like pothole repairs, cleaning of the litter, cleaning of the drains, guardrails when they get damaged by accidents, etc. These will all be done by SMMEs mostly. The communities are an important stakeholder, apart from the others, the municipality, the taxi associations, uh, you know, the church guys, etc. sort of thing are all important stakeholders you know, you know, and this is the chiefs, local chiefs around here are important stakeholders. So having consultation and meeting at design stage is very important with them because we get to know, we, we design the road as engineers, but we don't know what are their requirements. And by actually in, in, uh, interacting with them, we actually get to know what is their requirements. As we are the people from the chiefs, we made the commitment that we are going to talk with our people and to make sure that they must understand that this project is going to be helpful. First of all, we had the problem of narrow roads, the potholes, of which are the things that we now is the things of yesterday. So it's one of the benefits that the community could get in this project. At the same time, as we all know, that South Africa got the problem of unemployment. So we had to check those poorest homes in order to, 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 to employ this, but to consider them first in order to change their lives. The project has come at a right time in this area and it was consists of the seven wards. That is the most big or huge project that was taking most of the community in these areas. On the arrival of the project here, they are promising of two, employing 250 community members. But what we are most fortunately we have, they employ around about 337 above that 250. That is, it means to us, there were so many people that were benefiting there. The R61 project has absorbed a significant number of women and youth into the labor force, fostering a community where diversity and unity go hand in hand but the benefits extend beyond the construction site. Local communities are thriving as new businesses are flourishing thanks to the increased traffic brought by the upgrade of this road. Our commitment to this transformation has not only changed infrastructure, but has ignited a spark in entrepreneurship. The R61 project is not just a road, it's a lifeline a source of pride and a symbol of progress. Together, we are building South Africa through better roads.